Hi everyone, and welcome to a new video with Code with Sally. Uh, today's video is a, a short video um, to complement the last session we had. Um, the last session we had was about using screen flows and using invocable methods uh, to make an API call. And at the time, uh, I didn't have my hands on yet for winter 26 uh, pre-release org. So we did it the old way. And we said, like, I, I will create an offline video to show you how the data table now can um, use apex defined variables instead of using the transformation or building a custom LWC. So I believe that would be a great feature um, that we want to discuss and have like a quick look on it. Um, and there is way more uh, interesting features coming with Winter 26, but uh, my focus is on the data table that it's going to support apex defined variables because we just covered that part when we were explaining invocable methods uh, in demonstrating the screen flow last session. So for anyone who missed uh, the session. Uh, if you go to Code with Sal, you will find multiple playlists. One of them is the intermediate where we are working now. And you will find that we have three parts so far for invocable methods. And this video is to complement part three, uh, because this is where we explained how we can expose an invocable method that accepts the list of strings and return custom wrapper class. Uh, and we saw how to do it. Just for anyone who is joining for the first time or didn't see the session yet, uh, this is the screen flow we created together. Let me show you. So we created a screen flow, flow that I can enter multiple uh, country names. It depends on what you want to try. And you can click Next. And that will call an external API. Uh, and we built the invocable method together during the session. You can feel free to watch it and try to replicate it and build it yourself. And it return and display in the data table, the results that are coming. And in the session, the previous session we did, uh, that's what we did here. We built the first screen where we have the repeater for the country name. We prepared the list of names that we'll send for the invocable method because the invocable method is expecting a list of strings and the repeater can be a list of boolean can have um, um, strings can have multiple components so that's why we had to prepare a resource um, that is called list, list country names and it's a list of string and we kept appending one by one to it and after that we saw together how we invoked the invocable method that we created um, to get the country names. And it was expecting the list of country names. And we stored the list of the country details, uh, which is a country wrapper custom Apex class in a list country details. And if you go for um, the previous session, also you go to my um, GitHub, you'll find that we have also everything we built together in the session on GitHub and you'll find the classes with the callout utility, the country wrapper, and this is the um, invocable method that we built together that accept a list of string, a return, a um, list of um, wrapper class uh, to the flow. So you can watch that and this is the part where we want to demonstrate the difference. So in order to display that for the data table, uh, we had to um, do a transformation. I was lucky in my org that I had a custom object called country that match the data types or the structure of the class that is coming back from the um, invocable method. So what we did is we converted the list of country details to be a list of S object. And that's what we were using in the source collection or for the data table. If we go here and we try to find a uh, list country details directly, you cannot find it. Uh, if you say, okay, I will go um, with, the, um, let's see, the method or the country 
um, the apex like um, the infocobo method result it's not accessible the only thing that is accessible for us as a data source for the data table was the result of the transformation the transformed countries that we created so it was able to use the uh, list of as objects so it's it's not ideal to do that i was lucky during my demo that i had a custom object to match the structure uh, but in real life you won't always have this in your org that you want to call an invocable method that return an apex defined data type and that you have an object that match the uh, properties of the class that you are returning um, so in that case a lot of people were doing custom lwc or like they were struggling or maybe they um, decide not to use screenflow at all with winter 26 that got solved that we are allowing um, uh, they are allowing data table to use apex defined variables so let's do that together here this is an org a pre-release org that i created uh, my org that i was using on code with sally here on the left doesn't have uh, winter 26 it's on summer tw 25 and that's why i don't see it here i have this is a winter 26 org it's a pre-release org I created the same flow, I created everything, and I reached to the step where we need to create the last screen. So let's create it together. Here, I would say, show country details. And I will put here a data table. Data table. And I would say here, table country details. Okay, and let's see here the collection. The collection last time, you remember, we couldn't see the list uh, country details, even though I have it in the resource and it's what I use to store the output from the invocable method. The same, I have the list of country details here. If I go to the list of source collection, now I can see it because I'm on winter 26. I can see the list of country details and it's asking me, do you want um to to have a checkbox uh, for multiple rows single in my case it's view only it's asking what's the unique identifier in that case it's the country name and i will choose my columns the same way as we did so i will choose here capital and i can add here um country name i can have here the region and I can add the flag URL and the map URL. All of those are um, the properties of the object or the class that I created. So if you go here, this one is returned, the invocable method returned a um, list of a simplified wrapper classes. So if I go here, you can see it, simplify wrapper. It has capital, region, flag URL, map URL, and country name. And that's what we can choose. It's the properties of the wrapper class that we are returning. And let me put the country name as the first one. So now I chose that it's a read-only, chose the source. This is the big thing that is changing in winter 26. And a lot of people will love it, that we can use a, a, now a list of apex defined variables. I wasn't able to choose it or see it in um, summer 25. Um, we cannot see the list of country details. It only shows me that I can choose the transform, uh, the transformation result because it's list of as objects. So this is a big thing and it's big change, very useful. Thank you, Salesforce. So let's save this as a new version and I will activate it. And let's test it quickly to make sure it's still working the same way we are expecting it to work. So I go to my home screen here, home page, and I will edit the page the same way we were doing last time. I will do the flow. And I will choose here uh, English. Sorry, English. 
that country English, yes, and I will save and let's test it together. So now I can enter multiple country names, Canada, and I can say Egypt, France, and I do next, and now it show me the results. The results coming from the API, and the API we were calling it from the invocable method, and it return it takes a list of strings and return a list of custom wrapper class that we define, and we define the properties that we want to return. So I love it. I hope you love it too. Uh, I wish to show it to you in the last session part of the demo we were doing or the exercise we were doing, but I wasn't, and my org for released. Uh, for tw winter 26 wasn't ready yet. But as promised, I wanted to show it to you before our next session and make sure it's working and show you how it can simplify your flow uh, and to use the Apex defined variable directly. So I hope you enjoyed the session or like this short video for how we can use the data table now with the Apex defined variables. And I will see you next session with Code with Sally. Uh, and I hope um, this video is useful for you. And if so, please subscribe, like the video and share it with others. I will see you soon.